Barbecue Pit checking in for our uh, weekly podcast during the week. I uh, just played my second basketball game of the year. Um, did pretty good. We got smacked, beat down. We only had five players today, and uh, the other team had their full eight, so they had plenty of uh, people coming off the bench. We had everybody playing all game. So, I mean, we got really tired. We didn't start good at all, but we got really tired, which was eventually what uh, what came to be the, the worst thing for us. But all in all, it was cool. Uh, in my first game, I scored uh, 10 points, 21 boards. Uh, this game, I scored five points, eight boards, eight, eight assists, two blocks, but we got beat. I got a good personal victory, but team took it out. Team's good, man. We just we got uh, some work to do. A couple people didn't show up. We had mostly. Mostly forwards there today. Uh, no real guard play. One of our guys was hurt, so he couldn't run that much. But I think we should pretty, be pretty good in this league. I'm just glad my uh, my production's still doing good. Right. Hey, what are you going to do? We got a bunch of cool fights coming up for the UFC. Uh, Tony Ferguson, Habib Nur- Nurga Medoff. It's a cool fight. Uh, a lot of people have been asking me to make a pick for a long time. Uh, I'm going to pick two picks. So I'm going to pick both fighters. I'm going to pick Tony Ferguson by fourth round submission. Uh, being as I think he's going to get taken down a bunch of times. Uh, very good off his back though. So I feel like... Uh, Maybe uh, later in the rounds, Habib gets a little tired. Uh, maybe Tony's able to slip, uh, slip in a, a triangle or, or something, a door or something like that. Um, but uh, it would be my that would be my way that Tony would win, and then uh, the other way I would say would be a decision by Habib, because I think if he's gonna win, it's gonna be by decision. I feel like Tony has uh, proved himself time and time again to be a very strong competitor and a guy that just doesn't quit. I think it's going to be hard to beat him. Uh, so I think it definitely goes to decision if uh, if Tony Ferguson is the if is the loser. But um, I mean, he might, he might win decision, but I'd say he has a better chance of winning by submission. But who knows? Another fight that night that I'm really excited about is uh, Alain Quinta versus Paul Felner. Paul Felner is a tough motherfucker. But I like Big Al, man. I think he's going to knock him out. I would say uh, knock out Alain Quinta first round, maybe second round. I'd say he's definitely going to hurt him in the first. So I'd like to see uh, if he can finish him there or if, or if he has to wait till the second and Take his time and finish him in the second. That's fucking with me. I got a little fuzzy on me, so I'm a little better. But, uh, what's that? Oh, Rose and Joanna's again on that. A lot of people are giving Rose a lot of credit. I think that, uh, although she looked great in that first fight, I think Joanna just had a really big head. That fight, I really don't think she took it seriously. She thought, I'm about to break this record. I'm about to go to a different weight class. I'm one of the things. She just looked too far into the future. And then that's what happens when you look too far in the future. You got to handle what's at your plate right now. You got to eat your dinner right now before you think about tomorrow's dinner and and, uh, Saturday's dinner and shit like that. You know, you got to think about right tonight's dinner. You know, first, you got to think about what's going down at at hand. What's What's going on right now? And I don't think uh, Yana's doing that. I think she's going to come in a lot more focused. 
And I, I think both fights, she was a better fighter. You know, I think Joanna is a better fighter than, than Rose Namunas. Rose just got the best of her that day. I think she was a little bit sleeping on her. And, and Rose ain't no joke with the boxing, you know, so. I don't count her out, but I got, but I got Joanna on the second fight. Just because I think she's going to take it way more serious. And uh, she kind of seemed like at the when she lost in like the post fight press conference stuff like that, she looked like she was taking like a Ronda Rousey approach to it, like she was getting real upset and stuff like that. she like letting it eat at her. So she's gonna do one or two things. She's gonna come back like Ronda Rousey and get clapped up, or she's gonna come back and and show why that made her really mad that she lost. You know, that pay per view is one hundred and ten percent worth the buy. They also got uh, Mike Chiesa, uh, Anthony Pettis, which is a great fight. I uh, I was going for Anthony Pettis. I picked Dustin Poirier because I felt like it was a smarter pick when uh, he fought Anthony Pettis in Virginia. But I was rooting for Anthony Pettis because I like Anthony Pettis. I like Poirier and Chiesa too, but I've just uh, been a fan for longer of Pettis. And he's keeps disappointing me, man. So, uh, my pick was uh, Kiesa, because <clears throat> I don't want to get disappointed again by Pan Pettis. But, uh, you know, I, I like Pettis, so I want him to win. I hope he wins. I hope he doesn't go down this uh, out the door kind of path that uh, Bizbang's taking. I know Pettis isn't as old or anything like that, but still, he's losing, he's losing, he's losing. He might not be about to retire, but he might be about, about to be out of the UFC. You never know. We'll see. We'll see. That should be a cool fight, too, though. They got some other cool fights on that card. I can't remember. Shevchenko and Felice Herrig. Shevchenko's going to beat that ass. <laughs> Shevchenko's going to beat that ass. Not Shevchenko. Kovacavich. It's Kovacavich, uh, Felice Harry. Kovacavich gonna whoop that ass. That's what I was thinking about. Those are two bad little girls, Shevchenko and Kovacavich. I think uh, Kovacavich is gonna win the belt. She's gonna beat uh, Harry. They're probably gonna give her the winner of uh, of Joanna and Rose. And uh, I'd say she wins that fight no matter who it's against. Uh, she looked real good in the first Rose fight. I mean, the first uh, Joanna fight. And, uh, I think she's got it the second time, definitely. Def oh, uh, who else? Santos. Santos and uh, David Branch. Oh, Tiago Santos is going to fuck David Branch up, yeah. Can't wait to see it. College basketball screwed me again this year. I got two teams, uh, University of Miami, Syracuse. Miami did better the whole season, and they got eliminated the first round, and then Syracuse is still in it in the Sweet 16, so, I mean, I don't know, you never know what could happen with college, these guys should be getting paid anyway, that's a big problem, we could talk about that, is that, um, they should get paid, man, NCAA makes a lot of money off these kids, a lot of money, and they're not getting paid nothing, and they get into trouble when they do get under the table, a little food, a little, they get bought little TVs, cars, whatever. They get in trouble for it. But, but the NCAA is, is putting shit on TV. You guys are more than likely getting the profits for the, uh, when they come to the, uh, at least the tournament. I mean, maybe even, maybe the school gets the profit just like high school, like if the, Maybe the school gets the profit for the games, but for at least for the NCAA tournament, that you guys definitely probably get the profits from that. So, and they're playing for free, man. And that's probably why you see so many people just not care and lose. Miami had a good team, man. I don't know what happened with that. Uh, I, Lola, Leola. That team out of Chicago. They doing good. I ain't gonna put it past them, but 
I thought Miami was going to trash them. Right. I got to leave it up. My boys at Cuse bring me back one. Last time it happened was Melo. Sheesh. 2008. 2008. Melo got drafted. So 2007, we won. I think. I think I'm right. Hold on, right. Test my knowledge a little bit because I don't got no fucking. The Google's on the camera. I right? can't camera and Google at the same damn time. I wish I could. But you can't get my Google at the same damn time. Uh, UFC fight. None this weekend. I think they skipped two. So I think there's none this weekend. None the following weekend. And the Habib fights the following weekend after that. Either way, I'm going to try to get some interviews or something in this weekend. I'm going to try to get some more content up. <coughs> you guys have a back. Bob, keep it. Make this shit big. Joe Rogan, looking for you. Joey Diaz. Fuck with me. Let's get it.